Welcome to the monkey hunt. <laughs> All right, I uh, came over here to get a spruce log because I'm upgrading the mine colonies builder. <clears throat> and I happen to see this smoke in the distance. So we're going to go take a peek at what this structure is. Now normally I would just go in to the side like this. Getting them shooting each other. <clears throat> let them let them do their thing for a few seconds. Now we'll go in. Hope that was a kill. There we go. Let them do each other. Excuse me, boys. Protect this area a bit here. There's already lanterns. Oh, you know what? They're going to spawn. Whoops. There we go. Don't get in between them, though. Okay, go get them. <laughs> go get them, boys. I'm going to do the same thing up here. Well, yeah, we'll do the same thing up here. I don't see spawners, though. Oh, come on. Get each other. There we go. So where are they spawning from? Up there? And then dropping? Betcha there's like a spawner in... in here. Nope. I kind of want this green stuff too. Oh, check this out. I was coming down here to take a look at how I was going to renovate this. And there, my friends, is another monkey, hopefully, from Eights Primates. Let's get him. It is! And it is a spider monkey. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that was easy. All right, I have gutted the jungle temple. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of remodeling. Now, I'm thinking, thinking what I'm going to do is extend these down. And we'll, we'll just see how this looks. And I want to put, I think, glass around the outside. All right, so I've added a glass surrounding to this um, to this uh, what's going to be the monkey enclosure just gonna add a few sprucey touches and then on the inside it looks kind of cool nice and open to the sky for the monk the monks all right we've got the glass enclosure and we added a little bit of detailing to this side just to kind of see if I can make it look a little more temple like and I think I'm gonna put the same thing over here on this side as well I think it looks pretty good looks interesting the other thing I want to do is I want to create some trees in there or the illusion of trees so I'm going to take some of my spruce logs and I think I'm either gonna do spruce log door or I may do spruce log wall for like some thin tr trees with some like dark bark. Looks like uh, I'm going to do, so if I do a door, I can only do it too high. Let me tell you what, let's do one door and let's do a couple of these. We'll do four of these. And we'll see what this looks like in the enclosure. So let's head on down. I've temporarily got this uh, dirt here because I want this to turn into grass. So I need to let the grass grow down into there. 
Uh, I've got a temporary opening here. This will get closed off. So <clears throat> I want to create the illusion of trees. So maybe we'll put one here. Oh, nope, that doesn't work. It's got like a door doorknob on it. Okay, so now we know that this, okay, that does break. Whew. Um, these are going to connect to the wall. We don't want that. So this has got to be placed a little bit away from the wall, like here. I don't want to block the bamboo. Uh, let's put this tree, let's put this tree right here. And you can see, now what if I do that. That looks okay, right? And let's put some leaves up on this tree. We don't want it to touch the glass. Oh, we want it to be a nice leafy, leafy leaf tree. And I also wanted to see what this looks like. This like netted Oak, it's a trap door. I want to see, does it, um, does it connect if I do this? It does not, but that looks kind of cool, like a little perch, right? So maybe I'll put, put some of these in there for the monkeys to perch on. See if they like it. Uh, where did that other one go? Did I get it? I think I maybe I got it. Okay, that's grassy, so that's starting to to work. Whoops. What am I doing? <laughs> it's over here. So what I'm thinking is if I can get them sort of like if I can get them up to here. So maybe like that. Monkeys can now climb up here. And then why don't I give them Let's see how this looks. A way to get across. We're going to make a perch over on the other side. Whoops. all the way over here. So they'll come up like this. Now I think the small monkeys can get through here, but we'll make room for the big monks to get through here. And then we'll put some, some leaves up over here. And we'll have to put, put a something to make it look like it's natural. In fact, should I leave this open? Maybe put a vine up here, coming down. Can't put a vine on glass, but this should drop down, I think. So then we can put, I don't bring any, shoot, any loguses. Look, it needs something to kind of hang off of. <clears throat> it needs something to kind of hang off of. Hmm. Is that going to break the vine? So, so like if I if I took some um, jungle and put it here in the wall, oh, that's what I need to do in a bunch of places. 
so it's not so maybe back here okay we need some jungle logs then from the outside it should look kind of cool I think Yeah, and then when the vine grows, hopefully they can go up the vine, but otherwise they can go up like this, and then across over to here. That's cool. That's cool. This is a nice monkey enclosure. As soon as the grass gets in here, and then I'll eventually put the monkeys in. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put the monkeys in here safely. Like the mandrel, for example, will try to chomp me. I'll basically have to put a, a door somewhere or a trap door. I have no idea if the monkeys are smart enough to work doors, so this could all backfire on me very easily. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Another monkey. Now I've taken off Alex's mobs because the gorillas and capuchins and the gelata monkeys, I can't catch them with these balls. It's not part of this series. So I took them off so they wouldn't spawn and confuse me. But look, I think that's an orangutan. I think that is an orangutan. Yes, it is an orangutan. Now, if I would have got too close to him, he would have punched me up into the air and done quite a bit of damage. I would have lived, but I wouldn't have liked it. And once I catch all eight monkeys, I'll probably put Alex's mobs back on because there's a lot of cool mobs in there. Um, but it was just kind of interfering. The monkeys were overlapping. <clears throat> and then um, the other thing I have on is Better Animals Plus. I think I mentioned that before. So we've got now an orangutan. I should uh, head back so I don't lose it, but I'm going to keep on, keep on going a bit. See if I can't check out this bit of jungle this is all connected to mine but I'm a little ways away my base is on the other side of that mountain back there oh there's a little guy do I have one of those if I do I'm gonna lose this ball I don't think I have one of those what is this Ukari oh I did not have an Ukari Excellent. So I've got now five monkeys out of the eight eights primates with three more to go. Oh, here comes a piranha trying to sneak up on me. Bite me through the leaves. Those guys are persistent. I am missing a gorilla. I think something called a proboscis monkey, in fact I know, which has got a big nose, and I don't know what the third one is that I'm missing. Hmm, I think, oh I put my, uh, darn, I put my shears back get some azalea leaves I think let's take a peek up here definitely not haven't been over here yet but I think I'm running out of jungle running out of jungle I think that's a black bear not a gorilla let's get a little bit closer I'm pretty sure that's a black bear let's get a little closer Yeah. It's not a monkey. Oh, there's some monkeys though. This would be a good time to have that telescope. Orangutans. So I'm not going near the orangutans because I want to catch them. Oh, what was that? And where is that? Because I already have orangutan. But I want to go near them because, okay, where is that coming from? There's definitely a, oh, that's a, 
That's another orangutan. He'll knock me up in the sky. I don't want to get too close to him. Huh, he may... I guess all the monkeys in this mod maybe just make the same noise. Uh, but, well, this is a good sign. This means that monkeys will spawn in... I don't think this is a jungle biome. Uh, sparse jungle. Okay. So, sparse jungle biome. I didn't know that existed, but that's good. It's much more open. I can see much farther. And see the monkeys better. I like this. It's very good. I've definitely not been here in a sparse jungle. Yeah, maybe I should make a spyglass. I, I know Felonius had a spyglass in his... Um, oh, shoot. It's not MHC. Museum. Hardcore Museum series, which in which is inspired, or the rules, I should say, are created by um, Kid Awesome 2. So I know they're in the game. I just don't know how to make them. I don't know if monkeys spawn in those biomes. It is, um, you're seeing the ice form because Due to serene seasons, it is the cold season. So I imagine if I leave this jungle, I'll end up in um, in an area that might even snow. I don't really want to leave the jungle. I'm just kind of exploring this jungle, and then I'm going to head back if I don't find the three remaining monkey types fairly soon.